Hi! Welcome to another New York City vlog. to an India Iri concert at the Lincoln Center. I'm really excited because it's my first time actually going to the Lincoln Center to see a show. I have been to like the Exus Hotel, um, that really famous one that's in the original Gossip Girl, but I've never been in that area just to like kind of hang out and stuff. It is literally so, so cold in New York City right now, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear, but probably something a lot warmer than this is so let's get ready also it is a mess okay i do not know what i want to wear i was thinking maybe this one or this one i do need to run some errands and i feel like both these dresses are not practical but i think this one would be slightly warmer so let's let's go with her I actually really like this outfit. It's comfy and I think it's a little dressy. I have actually a necklace that I'm gonna put on that's gonna make it. We are making progress. Oh, I love this outfit, but I do not love my hair. This ponytail, it's. Uh, basically, I took my clip ins, I wrapped it around my braid, and I tried to make it a little bit more natural but I'm not feeling it I have two options one I could either take my clip-ins out and wear a wig or two and honestly what I'm really feeling is just using this drawstring pony on the top of my head instead so let's do that wait y'all I I might have just did something I took the braid and I just put it in a little top knot and I'm kind of loving it like is that not cute I might just wear it like this. I think this is kind of fire. It's like giving a little Asian, like Nicki Minaj persuasion little twist. It's either that or I put this giant ponytail on my head. It's gonna be so much hair. And then I'll have like a little Ariana Grande moment. And I don't, ow, ow. Okay, see, I feel like this is a sign. I should just, oh, oh, oh God. Oh my God, someone give me some oil. Give me some oil. <laughs> All right, I'm taking that as a sign that we're not doing the ponytail. Right, Jock? He agrees. So I think this is cute. I honestly think this is cute. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rock this. Jock agrees. <laughs> Say hello. Okay, and then so for my purse, I'm just gonna carry my Louis Vuitton bag. I am obsessed. This is actually the first luxury bag that I ever bought with my own money. <laughs> And I just love it so much. I honestly carry it everywhere. I'm probably gonna do a review video on it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are into stuff like that. But I want to pack in it a large tote bag because I do need to go to the grocery store at some point. Hopefully after the concert. I'm like, dude, is Target gonna be open? I think Target in New York City stays open until like 10 o'clock. So I think if I run there after the concert, I should be good. But I need, guys, this is so embarrassing. I'm out of like trash bags, hand soap, toilet paper, like everything basically. I need soy milk. Like how do I run out of everything the same like day? I'm just so confused. Oh, dishwasher pods. I also have to pack myself a note because if I don't write it down, I will forget. <laughs>
few degrees outside. Okay, I'm basically ready to go. I just grabbed my face mask because public transportation and the C word. And I found this cute little um, bouquet, quote unquote, that my coworker made me. It has like a little Hershey Kiss rose. How cute is that? Isn't that adorable? Oh my God. So I'm gonna have that as a little snack, but I always pack a water bottle in my bag because I'd be thirsty. Um, and my bag is so full because I have a huge tote bag in it. I'm not sure when I'm gonna go to Target, but I, I really am gonna try. We're super early. Um, it starts at 5.30. We're leaving now at, oh, it's 3.33. We're leaving now at 3.33, so I'll probably get there around four. So hopefully there's like a Target or something in the area. Um, and then I honestly, I have no shame. I will sit in the concert with my dry goods <laughs> that I'm gonna bring home with me after the concert. No, no shame in my game.
honestly so cute. Like, I signed up for this well bud, like, black girl, or I think it's Sisters Can Read, or Sisters, I don't know what it is. I'll put it on the screen up here, but it's really cute, and I'm excited to join, like, a book club that's, like, specifically for black women, and now we're just waiting for the show to start. Ah, so excited to see India I read. By definition, is an intense joy or delight, a state of emotion so intense that one is carried beyond rational thought and self-control. Which is to say, we are going to hold you like family. We're going to hold you like cousins, like aunties, like Miss Jenkins, like Auntie Maybell. service to you all. This left, next poem is a poem that I want you to sit with. Whatever touches your heart, feed, fuel, fight for it, flower, heal, hold, help, have, honor it. Whatever touches your heart, promise, hope, hell, and high water, wade with it, shield, protect, keep it sacred, whatever, 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 ever what touches you your heart, a few 
future inevitable is hurt, let it wind through you. Be fiercely undone, bold, brave, and billowing, elbow, ankle, shoulder your way, will it as so, whatever, whatever, whatever it may be, that fires the engine of your chest, sprawls open your thoughts of you, unminded and moved, let it, let it, let it be, let it, silly, shame and show you out, remember when, remember when, before memory made you... last night I want to talk to you about it but first I just need to meditate and get myself together um, and then we'll talk about it in a bit
Hi cutie, we are coming to the end of the vlog, but I did want to come on here and just say how beautiful Black History event was, like seeing India Ivory perform in concert, chef's kiss. And I never realized how spiritual she was. Like this is back in the early 2000s when being spiritual was not not in the mainstream consciousness and like hearing her music and just becoming familiar with her again now as i go through the spirituality mind body program at columbia is just like ah, mind-blowing i did want to share i got a couple of goodies you guys saw <laughs> that i went to target and i got some stuff that i needed I also purchased some jewelry from a black vendor. So I got this cute little ring. Is that not adorable? Oh, here comes the sun. <laughs> I got this cute little ring. I'm absolutely obsessed. And it's from a brand called Nemi Glow. So Nemi spelled N-E-M-I Glow. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a black owned black woman owned jewelry brand, I would check this one out. Bora was also there and like truly supporting the girls. So they were highlighting all of the black woman owned uh, beauty companies that they have at Sephora. I'm obsessed with topicals. I really, really, really love topicals right now. I've been using their faded serum. I'm also obsessed with Briogeo. I use a lot of their products for my hair. Um, and they're giving out things and I just got this little like glass trinket so I can put my ring in it <laughs> and just other jewelry I'm not really sure how I'm gonna use it but I feel like it matches my aesthetic it's like black white gold that's literally my entire apartment um so yeah I just thought that was really cool they're also giving out like tote bags um, and then something else, but I just thought this was the best gift, so I grabbed that. Yeah, that's it. So you saw I had a really fun time. I spent some quality time with my friend Tiffany, which is great because we've always been really good friends in the program, but we haven't had a chance to spend some one-on-one -on -one time together. Um, but thank you guys so, so, so much for hanging out with me today. I'm probably going to... For this video, obviously, monetization. I can't have all the Andrea Iri songs playing, but I'll probably make a separate video that is demonetized and you guys can just experience the concert with me. So, um, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you and I will see you later. I just wanna stay cool with that. Yeah, I gotta make my living with a push in that. Working on my mental health and sometimes losing it. No bullshit, creatively cooking. I'm one step away from setting my business, I know. But now I'm at the clouds of future, just building the flow. When my head is kinda busy with lyrics and words, you ain't perfect, but that's so perfect about ya.